guys, it's Dusty Baker at Cross Timbers Bison. Got some raw footage for you right here. And straight GoPro right here. Raw footage, I'm just gonna play it from right here and let it go. So there's no telling what you see. The angles may not be great, but I try to get up as close to personal with these bison and to, to you as I can. So we'll see how it goes. I want you guys to let me know what you think about it right here or if you like it filmed from here. I kind of want to know because we'll work them um, come later. Like, uh, you know, in the fall, we'll work them again. So I want your comments on this. I want to know what you guys think. Hey guys, Dusty Baker at Cross Timbers Bison. Look where I am. This almost feels like the gauntlet or something. I mean, but you know, this is not any UFC or fighting or stuff like that. But um, if you've been around bison and you put them in places like this, where they're used to being out roaming around and you put them in tight places like this here, it gets a little crazy. <laughs> saw a video we worked our bison here for the very first time um, we worked our uh, main seven the adults but I couldn't get one of the uh, one of our uh, sick uh, mamas up her name's Dakota uh, if you've watched some of my videos you know how uh, she got anaplasmosis anyways I uh, couldn't get her up she's kind of sketchy um, she's a little different than the other ones are and uh, the two bulls um, but we worked them today and so but look what i got for you i got you some raw footage okay and i hope you're ready for it i tried to do something different last time uh you know doc was here doc parsons from stratford animal clinic the bison guy he was here helping me work bison it's a little bit different this time because we just did it with uh me my stepdad my wife marissa my sister katie and my nephew Weston. No Doc Parsons. But Or get it. Dusty. What? Katie. Katie, she's right there. She's down. She's, she's laying down. Bring this bull. Come on, buddy. It's closed, Katie. What do I do? I think she's bleeding and stuff. Yeah, it's stress. She's stressing. She's stressed out. She's stressing right now. We'll hold those two little bulls right there. Yeah. All right. That a girl. Bring it. And I didn't bring that in. Okay. Open this water. Okay, is there anything else that right there. squeeze it down? No, every, no, I, I I did the latch. I put get So squeeze this first. Squeeze. This here. Hey, this is what you need to shut it. I got it. No, she's got he's got right it. Right here. 
Mm-hmm, I know. It's hard to do, it's just one person. Where's my paddle at, Marissa? Yeah, just, just let her sit for a minute. Which, which one of these are you giving her? That. The big one. The big one, isn't it, Dusty? Which one is it? I don't know, how much is it? Probably this one. I would imagine this one. You need to try to get her in there yeah. first, or? Well, just, just reach your hand over there, and you can give it in the neck of the hip, top of the hip. I'll get it to her in her neck. I wouldn't undo that. I would not do that. Well. No, don't do that. Well, that's the only way I can get in there, guys. Go to the other side and give her, I'll be on this side. Yeah, she's stressed out. Yeah, she's stressed out. Okay. Is it locked? No, it's not locked. Give. Right it. there. Let me see it. Okay, get her some LA. Marissa, open that gate or get that. Or you can kick her that way, but the bull was there. You already had nine. Pull up. 20. Just leave it. No, no, we kicked her out in the big area. We ain't kicking her back in with us. Here, I got it. Yes, I put it in there. They were all walking over here. Now, now, we ain't gonna be able to get our tag out, Baker. It's okay. Try to catch it. It's all right. All right, she's done. All right, open it up, Maris. Chain that gate. Hey, chain that gate. Chain that gate. All the way. No, it can't be chained all the way because the head gate's Oh, that's right. All right. All right. Okay, so. Okay, you did. Uh, Did good. Thank you for listening.
worked up. Katie, will you shut that when he comes all the way through here? Just push it? Yeah, once he clears here, that's his backup where he can't yeah. go. So you have to, you have to do the Here you go. You ready? Back up a little bit. I'm putting my hands in there. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Easy, Back easy, up. buddy. His shoulder's in it. Hold on, Kevin. Give me just a second. Okay. There we go. Lock. Oh, I freaking hate that head gate. It's so, This is. Yes. I got it. No, oh, it'll swing this open. Yeah. Whoa, what are you gonna do? Swing it open because if I put my hands in there, he's gonna hurt. He's gonna do something. Okay. I, I just don't like the top part. All right, let's go. Oh, has he had all his shots? Just one. Just one, that's all we're giving. Not giving him nothing else. Yeah. What will just warmer. you give him? Warmer. That's just warmer. Okay. Now you need know. Marissa, will you watch this right here, here and make sure. Here you go. I'll fix this. Over the top of it, Dusty. Over the top of this. Don't do it over this horn. Do it like this. Underneath. Yeah. Do it like this. Well, I gotta do it on this side though. Yeah, but, yeah, but don't do it. I gotta do it on this side. But watch, like I'm here, here, go here. Oh. Not over the top. How in the hell? Flip it. Turn the deal. If you want the number, yeah. Do it it should like be that. like this. That's yeah. why I have. Like that. There you gotta go. There you go. Okay, buddy. There you go. Come on. Come on. Squeeze it then. Uh. Uh. Don't go out there. Uh. 
You can go backwards or you can go out You forward. can't go forward because of this. Oh, that's so right. So it has to go that way. He's going to have to back up. Just let him release. Release a little bit. Now he'll go. All right, that worked like a champ. Good. There you go. Close this back for the other one. This goes. getting stressed Close out. Let me just let him out the big pasture. You don't want to let him hold that. Push it. Okay, so that was a little nerve wracking. I have to be honest, uh, whenever I was, whenever um, Dakota came up here, our first cow, the one that's been sick, but uh, let me tell you something, she's doing so much better. She doesn't look great, but she looks a lot better than she did in November when I took her to the vet. You can go back and watch one of those videos if you're just now joining us. But um, she's doing much better. So here, you know, Doc Parsons, uh, my bison guy, uh, the vet from Stratford Animal Hospital in Stratford, Oklahoma. He wasn't here, but he was working all this last time. And so I wanted to do it. I need the experience with a manual squeeze chute. I've worked with a hydraulic one. It's much easier. Um, but I wanted to get some hands-on experience, and she was the first one up. And she's just a little bit crazy. Um, crazier than well, probably my craziest one out of all of them. She gets stressed out really quick and easy and so but you know you've got three things going on here you've got a 
shut the gate so she can't back out. You got to squeeze her down and then you got to get a, you've got to close on the head gate here. So a lot going on. I have to be honest. I was a little nervous about it. It was my first time there and I didn't do a very good job. I actually um, didn't squeeze her down, which is the first thing you got to, second thing you got to do after you close the gate behind her so she can't back out because she's in the squeeze chute. So I didn't squeeze her down if you want to know what squeeze it down is. That right there, see the gap is a lot further apart. And then I can open it back up. A couple of things I really do not like about this um, is one, I do not like this head gate. You see the way it closes. I talked about it and the last time we worked them. Uh, we need a scissor stall. I'm not sure the technical name for it, but we need a different head gate for sure. Um, and uh, that's one thing. And once we get that head gate, you saw that calf come through this hole right here. Let me get a better angle for you. So this is the, so it's way different. Doc, I give all the credit to him because he's done this for so long but he handled all this pretty much one-handed uh, all by himself. Now we helped him on the back end on some of this stuff in our last time we worked him, um, but I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to put myself in that situation so um, I could go through it and I could learn and that's part of this and I wanna be able to do this. Obviously you have to have help, but I wanted to do it right here. Now that's why I went ahead, strapped the GoPro to me and work these bison. I want you guys to let me know what you think about it right here or if you like it filmed from here. I kind of want to know because we'll work them um, come later. Like, uh, you know, in the fall, we'll work them again. So I want your comments on this. I want to know what you guys think. So one of the exciting things we got to do today is we got to replace um, the calves, old tags with the new tags. So this is our firstborn. Um, that's where he gets his name from, Chaske. So we took this, um, ripped this old tag out, cut it out, and we replaced it, replaced it with a new one that's got our brand on it. And this was Teddy's. He was our second born uh, calf. And um, what's funny is this calf, which is Teddy, he was the second born. He was actually, he weighed more than our first born. But when Teddy was born, he was born in July, he actually looked bigger. He was born as a bigger calf. And so I'm glad we got to replace these, get these out well, of the I hope way. you guys liked seeing that GoPro footage right there. I hope, uh, I hope you like watching that. I know it's a, it's a bit scary and it's a little nervous, um, you know, and if you were here, it'd be 10 times more intense than what you're seeing on the video. Uh, it can be, it can be kind of crazy, but um, I hope you like it. I hope you like following us. And if you just um, are joining us, we're a small bison herd in southern Oklahoma, and uh, you know we've been doing this for a couple years now. And we're just, what is my goal? I want to grow and expand. I want to uh, have more land so I can have more grass for our bison, and we can expand. Um, one, the conservation side of it is what I enjoy. I get to raise an animal that once almost disappeared. Okay, the bison came to low, low numbers in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So that's one thing I do. Two, I wanna raise good genetically bison. Um, good confirmation, they have, they're carrying those good genes that all bison um, have, had, have carried for hundreds of years. And then three, meat production. Meat production is probably the number one thing on these bison. Um, it's a very popular meat. It's healthy, it's lean, low in cho cholesterol, and high in protein, which is important. Um, it's a great meat too. It's a really good tasting meat. If you haven't had bison, try it. I don't sell any yet. That's a future thing. We've gotta have more bison and grow these um, little ones up and someday we'll be able to sell meat. That's one of our goals. And while we're doing that, we wanna grow and conservation numbers. We want to grow our herd and make them bigger. And that's that's what we want to do. So thank you guys for following. If you're new to us, we appreciate you following us. And we're just trying to learn. It's all about learning here. And I'm just a small farmer in Southern Oklahoma. 
and we're just doing the bison thing. It's because we love these animals and uh, they, ju they just amaze you every single day. So thank you guys. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow us along our, on our journey raising some uh, the American bison. Thank you guys. Two guys are settling down, Chaska and Teddy, calming down a little bit.